So I saw the new movie Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, which is actually the sequel of the 2018 movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, who won the who won multiple awards for best animated movie, which is the Golden Globe, critical I mean the Critic Choice Awards and the Oscars, which it is an incredible movie. So we get to see Ma Morales, aka Spider-Man, has toward the Spider-Verse, where Miguel O'Hara, aka Spider-Man Spider -Man of 2099, where things have gone wrong. So here is the review of the movie right now. So the movie begins with the 16 months after the events on Earth 65, which took place during the Into the Spider-Verse movie, which we see Gwen Stacy, aka <clears throat> Spider-Woman, who's actually voiced by Hilary Stafford, who was in Bumblebee movie and was on the first Spider-Verse movie, who's struggling to keep up with the expectations of her father, who didn't know of her identity, which she was being hunted in revenge, knowing of what happened, and the disbelief that she was the cause of her universe Spider-Man, by which we see one night after hearing about a possible intruder in a museum, where she confronted the threat, which she actually ran into Adrian Toomes, who is Vulture, but it was actually a Renaissance Dean Vulture that comes from an alternate world. That is when she actually <coughs> have escaped, but she actually saw the portals where we see Miguel O'Hara, who is Spider-Man of the year 2099, which is the future, and is voiced by all of <clears throat> Oscar Isaac, who was in Marvel Studios Moon Knight, which I haven't seen it yet, and Jessica Drew, aka Spider-Woman, who's an African-American version of Spider-Woman, but she's also pregnant as well, and she's also voiced by Aisha, I mean, Aisha, I mean, Aisha Real, which they actually subdue the vulture in the process, which afterward, I mean, Gwen has revealed herself to her father, who actually became shocked and attempt to arrest her, but we knew that Drew actually suggested O'Hara to let Gwen join the Spider Society, which he reluctantly agreed. So they decided to leave Earth 65 and head, in which we headed back to Earth 1610, where Miguel, I mean, Ma Morales in Brooklyn, who decided to adapt his role of being Spider-Man, knowing of how he took up the mantle of the late Spider-Man of his universe, who's actually voiced by <clears throat> Shamil Moose, and which he returned to his return from the first movie, by which we see how he tried to sh struggle to live up to his parents' expectations, which <clears throat> we see how his parents, who are actually the voices of Brian Tail Henry as <clears throat> Jefferson Davis, who's actually in Marvel Studios Eternals, and Luna Lauren Vargas, I mean Files, who's actually voiced Rio Morales, which they're actually new 
that Miles have an attitude knowing that there is something wrong, while mourn the departure of Gwen, which she now has feelings for her, and which during the meeting at his school, he's actually have visited a convenience store where he has confronting the villain known as the Spot. The Spot, or his real name, is Dr. Jonathan Owen, who's actually a scientist, using the experiment to transform his body to use the same powers as a superhero cloak. But he actually has using the spots to create portals on his body where he collaborate with other <clears throat> things, who's actually voiced by Jason Strassman, I mean Strassman, which he actually battles the spot in which he has to do him and bring him back to <clears throat> Antrimac, I mean Atrax, where he met with his with his parents knowing that he's struggling in the struggling in school so now knowing of how he has broken out and confronting him knowing that transporting him to a void where he using the portals to travel to different universes where the collaborator is actually is there which he actually knew that Gwen is visiting Miles, so they actually swing with their webs and actually have a meeting of what happening. So now he has created his own collaborator and became more dangerous. So now Drew contacted Gwen to tell her to leave Miles behind to confront the spot. Unbeknownst to them, Miles just so happens to follow them to the portal to <clears throat> Earth 50101 where he confronted Predator Pohakar aka Spider-Man India who actually is voiced by Karen so I mean Sunny who's actually Darpander in the Deadpool movies and Hobby Brown aka Spider-Punk an African American British version of the Spider-Punk who's actually voiced by Daniel Kaloya who actually is in Marvel Studios Black Panther movie in which they realize how they confronting the spot with their collaborator and successfully absorb its powers before escaping during which we knew how the events could have actually happened so we knew how Miles, Gwen, India and Punk have been sent towards the headquarters on Earth 928 where there is a whole lot which could be hundreds uh, the versions of Spider-Man, which they call the Spider Society, which of course the Miles and Peter from the PlayStation Spider-Man game is there, and also I actually have a few versions of the Spider-Man that I love, but I won't go through that. However. They actually met O'Hara, who told Miles that he's risking the destruction of the multiverse, which he did mention Peter Parker, which played by Tom Holland and Doctor Strange in the Spider-Man No Way Home movie, by which we knew how they actually met up with Peter P. Parker who now have a, a child with Mary J, who is actually is happy with his life. And also voiced by Jake Johnson, which we knew 
how O'Hara say that the canyon works in each Spider-Man movie and the fabric of the multiverse as well, knowing how the Spider-Man suffers sacrifices to maintain a stable multiverse, kind of like a story origin how they've lost their uncles. So that means that in each universe, Peter had lost Uncle Ben, and which the story goes on and on and on and on, and on, which we knew how Miles realizing that his father's death at the hands of the spot is to be a canyon event for the universe to maintain. So he decided to flee, causing all the spider men ordered by O'Hara to apprehend him. So they actually did a mean scene where they actually point which is which, which I actually see a, re a live action photo of Tony McGuire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland did the same thing, which that actually is amazing of what they actually did. And props to them for actually creating it. But we knew how they actually chasing him. In which do a derby session where Peter and the therapist version of Peter actually arrive, which they crash through it. So after the chase, O'Hara strike down Miles, knowing that he wasn't supposed to be Spider Man because of the spider bit him, was actually the being of. I mean, actually being from the alternate universe, which he broke free, saying that he's going to do his own thing, headed back to his home world and save his father, knowing that O'Hara seeing Gwen as a liability to what's happened, they actually kick him, kick her out and send her back to her own universe, where we knew that her father has reassigned as police captain knowing of the fact that he won't arrest his own daughter. So now she actually knew what she has to do. So the canon events can be rewritten and use a watch that she stole from Hobby to find Miles. Which of course, going back to the apartment, we see how Miles revealed to his mother that he is Spider-Man, who she didn't recognize, and he confronted his uncle, realizing that he is from Earth for me 42, which the spider that bit him was actually and who was actually Aaron Davis who was actually the Prowler, and he was voice Mahershala Ali, who was actually in the first movie as the Prowler, and was on Alita Battle Angel. And he realized that his father is already is dead, and there is no Spider-Man on the Earth. So Aaron have actually interrogate him, realizing, I mean, make Miles realize that he isn't the prowler that he confronted by which we knew that he was confronting the miles of that earth who became the prowler so o'hara drew and ben riley who's the scarlet spider a clone of peter parker who's actually voiced by any sandberg who could actually appeared on Earth 1610, just as the spot arrived to kill Miles' father. But we knew how Gwen, after speaking with Rio and Jefferson on Earth 1610, which she had already assembled a team by which, of course, Peter B. <clears throat> made a Dark Power, Har, mean, ha, mean, sorry, Hobby, 
Spider Bites, who was actually a digital version of Spider Woman, who is actually from a virtual reality version of the universe, who's actually voiced by Amanda Stadberg, who actually on The Darkest Minds, The Hunger Games, and The Hate You Gave, which of course, along with Spider Noir, Penny, and Spider Ham, to try to find Miles, knowing that he could be in danger, and the movie actually ends there. Now, to be honest, I really love this movie, just like how I love the first one, which actually won the Oscars, Golden Globe, Critical Choice Award, and so on, which I actually love how there is different universes of Spider-Mans, including the video game version, and the cartoon version. My favorite Spider-Man happens to be the Spider Knight of the Ultimate Spider-Man comics. The movie, I mean, sorry, video, <laughs> cartoon show, which a knight as the Spider-Man, which is actually incredible. And I cannot wait to see the third Spider-Verse movie, which they call it Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. So it come out next year, which is March 29th of 2024. So to, to be honest, this movie is incredible, which of course the visual effects, the animation, and the many Spider-Mans, this is actually a really cool movie. And I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen on the third movie next year. But all in all, this is actually a really amazing movie, which 95%, I mean 96% on Rotten Tomatoes is actually incredible. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment or oh, anything about the movie review. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, and my Facebook page and Twitch. Until then, this is Anime God Runner here under here saying signing out. Laters and be safe.